Hello, I'm Robin Carlin at the Denver Post Sports Desk. The Rockies dropped three games to the Florida Marlins over the weekend. I don't know what it is about Florida. It's supposed to be the Sunshine State, but there's a dark cloud that's always waiting for the Rockies. Get this. In 19 games since Marlins Park opened back in 2012, the Rockies are hitting 200. That theme continued on Sunday when Rocks hitters could only muster two hits off of Marlins right-hander Tom Kohler. A little bit about Kohler, he holds a 4.12 ERA on the season. But against Colorado, that number dips down to an impressive 1.59. Also against Colorado, he's only allowed six runs, none of which were scored yesterday as the Rocks were blanked three zip. Sunday's shutout loss triggered a players-only post-game meeting. What was said behind those closed doors didn't exactly get announced to the public, but you can probably take a guess as to what went on. Some more bad news for the Rockies. Starting pitcher Tyler Chatwood was added to the 15-day disabled list with a back strain. The injury occurred in the second inning of Saturday's game when he threw a wild pitch and had trouble standing up right afterwards. For the most part, Chatwood has established himself as a staff ace this season. His road ERA of 1.25 is the best in baseball. Righty Scott Oberg was called up from the minors on Sunday to replace Chatwood on the roster. Oberg wasn't too bad on Sunday, throwing two shutout innings in the seventh and eighth in Colorado's loss. The Rocks can avoid the sweep with a win tonight, first pitch at 5-10.